Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Settler Series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. Friends, I'm coming up with an exclusive Current Affairs program targeting 2024 prelims as well as mains. The class starts from 21st October. I have given the information here. If you are interested, you can go through the slide. All right, and you can call the number given here. So coming back to today's video, Chandrayaan 3. Please watch my previous video on Moon and Chandrayaan 1 and 2 for better clarity. I will also give the link in the description box. Please watch it. So Chandrayaan 3 is India's successful lunar mission. It is really successful. I will explain why it is a real success. India is the fourth country to achieve this feat. After USA, USSR, China, India became the fourth country to achieve soft landing. To achieve soft landing in moon. So, Chandrayaan mission consisted of a lander and a rover. So, look at this image. So, here I have given the lander. This is the lander and here comes the rover. The lander is named as Vikram. The rover is named as Pragyan. So, as the name says, this lander will land on the surface of the moon and from the lander, the rover comes out and it will start roving in the moon. Put it simply, imagine a, um, a truck which contains a small car. Okay, the truck is landing on the moon and a small car, a robotic car which comes out of the truck, it will start roving in the moon. Right? Do you know the speed of this rover? This rover travels at 0 0.036 kilometers per hour or in simple terms, it will travel 1 centimeter per second. The mission duration, Chandrayaan 3 mission duration is 14 days. Why 14 days? Friends, these Pragyan rover, this lander, these are solar powered missions. It gets energy through solar power. We know that if you take the moon, I explained in the previous video, for 14 days, one side of the moon, for 14 days, you will have light. Other side will be dark. In the next 14 days, the other side will have light. The other side will be having dark. I explained about near side, far side. In the previous video, I explained about near side, far side. There's nothing but from earth, the side which we can see is the near side. The other side is called as far side. See, our earth, 12 hours we have light. 12 hours there is darkness on an average. Similarly, similarly, in moon, in moon, 14 days, 14 earth days will have light. 14 earth days will have darkness. So in earth, 12 hours of light. In moon, 14 hours of light. So, the mission, that is the Pragyan, the Vikram lander, whatever we have sent, for 14 days, it is going to continuously get sunlight. With that sunlight, it gets power, it can grow, move, it can conduct all kind of operations. After 14 days, it will be losing all its power. Yes, we have kept batteries, but that is not sufficient. That is not sufficient to give sufficient power for another 14 days. You should know, for 14 days there is sunlight, the temperature will be very high. In one side of the moon, for 14 days we have sunlight, the temperature will be very high. Similarly, after 14 days, you will feel only darkness, where the temperature will come down to minus 200, minus 250 degrees Celsius. Just imagine, you are going to moon. Today, you will be facing very high temperature. In 14 days, you will start facing very low temperature. In high temperature period, in that 14 days, this Pragyan rover can survive. The next 14 days, it cannot survive because of very cold temperature. So on August, on August 23rd, we were able to successfully land this lander and rover. The rover started its operation on 23rd August. But however, in the next 14 days, the sunlight went, darkness came. So by after that, in the, during the dark 14 uh, days, we were not able to connect with our Pragyan. 
So after that 14 days, our Pragyan did not survive. However, our intention was to conduct mission for 14 days only. But still, we were putting high-powered battery charges, everything we were having, but still, the Pragyan was not able to survive. Right? But 14 days mission is successful. So this, now what Pragyan is doing in Moon? Pragyan in Moon will be our first ambassador to Moon. It is going to stay in Moon forever. Next time when you go for solo trip, you can go and say hi to this Pragyan. Okay. So coming back to our topic. So in this 14 days mission, what was our objective? Our aim is to demonstrate soft landing capacity of India to land on the moon. It is not an easy thing. Moon, if you take, we discussed in the previous video that it has a very tough terrain. It has lot of craters, lot of holes. Right? The gravity in moon is actually not uniform. It is very low when compared to earth. The gravity in moon is very low, very low. It is also changing. In one, one area, you will have different, different density. Right? The moon is also keep moving. There is no atmosphere. So when you are going there, when you enter into the exosphere of the moon, there will be free fall because there is no air. You cannot use parachute and all because there is no air. So landing on moon is a real challenge. So soft landing, we need to demonstrate our capacity for soft landing. Yes, we were able to do that. Another objective was to row that rover, to make that rover move in the moon. Because this rover is nothing but a robot. It is going to understand the chemical composition, physical parameters, thermal parameters of the surface of the moon. The surface of the moon has very high temperature, but when you go deeper into the surface, the temperature will drastically fall. In earth, the case is different. You go deeper into the earth, the temperature will increase like anything. But in moon, the surface is hot. When you go inside, it is cold. Then after that, it becomes hot. We need to understand the physical, thermal, chemical parameters of the moon. So these three were the objectives of this Chandrayaan-3 mission. And we were able to achieve that. On 23rd August, it landed. For the 14 days, it was able to collect lot of evidences. After that, it went into the dark mode. Our uh, mission was not able to withstand that cold temperature. So after September, August 23rd, we went. After September 20th, ISRO said that, yes, we were not able to communicate. So it will be a permanent ambassador of India in Moon. So this is about the Chandrayaan-3 mission, but there are some more information which we have to know from exam point of view. Where did we launch this mission? We chose the south pole of moon. Usually other countries, usually they will try to land near the equator. If this is the moon, we will try to land near the equator. Why? Because in the equator, we will get maximum sunlight, more sunlight, more solar power, the missions which we send can survive for a longer period. But why do we chose the South Pole? We chose South Pole because I explained Chandrayaan 1, it found the presence of water molecules in moon. Chandrayaan 2 also confirmed, Chandrayaan 2 said in every latitude there is water. Right? The interesting part is, though water is present in moon, since there is no atmosphere, the sun radiations will be very high, the water will be operated. But if you take the southern poles, southern poles, there are certain areas, there are certain black spots, dark spots, where sunlight cannot reach because sun is having, I mean, moon is having lot of craters, lot of holes. There are certain locations in the south pole where sunlight cannot reach. So in those regions, we, we can find, we can see the presence of lot of uh, ice, lot of water. So we chose South Pole to explore the unexplored area where there will be lot of water molecules. So just imagine if there is lot of water molecules, then our moon can become a pit stop for further space explorations. How sir? If you have water, then from water, we can derive oxygen. We can derive hydrogen. Hydrogen can be a fuel. We can put a hydrogen bunk in moon. We can send our space programs. First, we can take a pit stop in moon. Then you just refuel your spacecraft. 
from there you can go to distant places of the uh, space and explore the universe find the mystery of life so for everything the southern the southern pole will be an ideal place uh, for further space explorations that is why india chose the south pole though equator is more safer but we chose south pole to explore the unexplored regions right that can be very useful for further space explorations and our idea initially was to go to the far side but however we landed in the near side why we landed in near side we chose the south pole in near side why do we chose near side i explained that far side is having more number of craters more holes and that when you put something in dark side communication will be lost it becomes really difficult to rove the rovers so we chose near side south pole and yes we were able to land successfully and we were able to conduct our experiments this is a real success why because the start i was saying that this is a real success why because friends of all the lunar missions conducted over the years around 50 percentage of lunar missions moon missions have failed particularly soft landing almost 60 percent have failed in the last five years 2023 22 21 20 19 in these years japan tried failed israel tried failed russia tried failed it is only india and china we both were successful in soft landing so soft landing is really challenging see moon is almost 4 kilometers far the temperature is so high 14 days of sunlight 14 days of darkness 14 days of intense sunlight surface temperature is high terrain is difficult lot of holes there is no atmosphere gravity is very low so many challenges despite of all these challenges we were spending roughly around 600 700 crores right today movies are being taken with 600 700 crores of budget but see isro was able to achieve this massive feat with a very small amount of budget we were able to achieve that that is why it's a real success we have to appreciate what isro has achieved right right friends i hope the video was useful so so here i have given the information regarding chandrayaan 3 you can go through you can pause the video you can make notes out of it if you want okay so why we chose south pole why it, what is the reason everything i have explained so based on our discussion i have given a multiple choice question find out the right answer and give it in the comment section right friends tomorrow i'll meet you with another important topic till then bye take care